They said that the heat index was 106. You know, I'm really thinking about how we can take our photography business to the next level. I'm doing intermittent fasting. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm not making these joints spicy, am I? Dinner was great. You want you want me to say great? We are here to play. Larry and Rudy. Hey, hi, buenos dias. ¿Qué está pasando? Is your latte here with the whole family? Mr. Rooney, say hey. What's up? Jaden and Jonathan, say hey. Hey. So we are on our way to church and I am going to read the scripture. It comes from Psalm 46 verse 1 and it said, God is our refuge and strength, a well-proven help in trouble. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God is definitely a help in trouble. So we are on our way to church right now. It is so hot, guys. It is just as hot as it was yesterday. We had a heat wave here in the um, northeast. Are we in the northeast? Yeah. <laughs> We had a heat wave, it was so hot. They said that the heat index was 106, so I said to Rudy- 106 is oh. like 110. Yeah, it was like, when I opened the weather app, it said 89 degrees. And I was like, wait, didn't you say it was gonna be 106? And they said it was gonna feel like 106. So doesn't that mean that it's 106? Like, I, mean, I it should, it should mean. I don't understand what heat and index means. If it feels like 106, it's 106. Uh -huh. So anyway, I definitely opted for no makeup this morning because it's all gonna melt off. I tried to do some baby hairs, and as you can see, it's melting off. So, yeah, it's hot. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to be back into the presence of the Lord one more Sunday. Hi Charles. Guys, it's later in the day and I forgot to vlog after church. But uh, we went to mommy's house real quick and um, Jaden was complaining that he was tired so we left. We had to go to the bank as well. And um, I took a really nice nap. I tried to get some work done but um, fatigue took over so I ended up taking a nap. And I woke up really late. I had set an alarm because I wanted to go to um, a youth crusade that um, Stephanie invited me to, our friend Stephanie. I really wanted to go. The doors opened at 6 o'clock. I, I woke up at like 6.15 and I just could not get out of bed until like 6.30. The house is hotter than lava. Well, <laughs> that's an exaggeration. It's really hot in the house for some reason. Even though it's probably like 70 something degrees outside, inside the house is 90. That's what the thermostat that's what the thermostat says. So um, Rudy and I had to run another errand. Uh, he's picking me up a va vanilla chai latte at Dunkin' Donuts right now. And I don't know, I'm just watching photography videos. You know, I'm really thinking about how we can take our photography business to the next level, which is what I'm always thinking about because I don't know, I'm not gonna stop saying it because I'm just so amazed. You know when you've been praying for something for so long? There were nights when Rudy and I, well, this is when we used to pray out loud. I don't, it's so bad saying this because we don't do this anymore, which is so bad. We really, this whole week, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. Rudy and I used to pray out loud every single night, and then when we had Jaden, things changed because I would go to sleep, he'd be up with Jaden. He would go to sleep, I'd be up with Jaden. Basically, our pattern changed, and we weren't going to sleep at the same time every night. And because we broke the habit, it just, like, even though we do go to bed at the same time, now, it's like the habit has been broken and we haven't really, like, actively been trying to form it again. So we pray separately and it, oh, it makes me feel so bad saying that and admitting that out loud. But, um, I'm saying that all to, I, I'm saying all that to say, when we used to pray out loud together, we always used to pray for the business that God would give us wisdom and that the business would give us good success because you know there's such a thing as bad success um and you know after all those years of praying it's like finally we're we're seeing the stuff that we're praying for god has truly given us wisdom and is just like blowing our minds with the amazingness that is happening and so and that's why I just can't stop saying it I feel like a broken record every time I say that the business is so blessed but it's just like I am amazed the eighth year of business and I'm finally like reaping everything that I've sown you know like I've already shot three weddings this year and um which weren't even my own I was second shooting 
but I have three of my own weddings coming up this year and I've been doing so many portrait sessions and having gone from not doing any portrait sessions last year because nobody booked me to just booking portrait sessions back to back to back to back doing three portrait sessions in a in a day seven portrait sessions in a weekend guys that's amazing and I, I just can't stop talking about it so I'm sorry I'm really sorry anyway I've been doing a lot of investing in my photography business mentally and um, just giving myself just giving time to so I watch a lot of photography businesses and I told Rudy that I want to fly out to Seattle Washington to photograph a model who I like on Instagram you know and I'm trying to put together my male portfolio because I do have two male models that I have my eye on there's one that I've been watching since 2012 but I feel like I'm not good enough to shoot him yet so I'm trying to build up my own confidence to ask him how much he charges like what his modeling rates are and yeah that's that's what I'm that's sorry I'm laughing so much I'm sorry ah, but I'm excited you, you guys ever been excited about anything in your life that's how you girl feel right now God is truly amazing. Oh, God is truly. I gotta cut that part out. That was not cute. Hey guys, it is the next day, and um, I woke up not too long ago, which is really bad because I'm doing intermittent fasting. I was supposed to wake up at six or seven o'clock this morning to get started on that, and I just didn't. So um. Last night was really rough. That's why I didn't wake up on time. I ended up going to sleep at 3.30. Uh, Rudy and I had a heart-to-heart. -heart. We talked about some stuff. Well, actually both of us were talking, yeah. I just had a lot of stuff that was bothering me. I'm a very emotional person. And so I started crying out of nowhere. And Rudy was like, what's wrong? Because you know, this is weird. Your wife is crying at, at like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, so... Yeah, I I feel a lot better after talking to him and that's why it's so important to have really good communication because I really just wanted to cry and go to sleep but Rudy was not going to let that happen so we ended up talking for a very long time we didn't go to sleep until 3.30 and it was hot <laughs> the room was so hot but like, I don't know so I tried to wake up this morning obviously I could not I woke up at like 9.15, I did my devotion because it's like I'm doing a physical cleanse and like a mental slash spiritual, whatever you want to call it, um, that's what I'm doing. Spiritual cleanse, I don't like the way that sounds, it doesn't sound very Christian, <laughs> it sounds new age and I'm not into new age, I'm a Christian. So I don't want to say I'm doing a spiritual cleanse, I guess I'm focusing on like mental healing still sounds new age guys I'm just trying to get closer to God Jesus the Christ okay that's what I'm doing so um, I did a devotion shout out to Shanice she sent me a whole bunch of scriptures she sent me a whole bunch of um, you version plans and so um, I started one of the plans today I'm gonna do two more plans because I want to do a devotion in the morning one in the afternoon and one in the evening and I have my Christian planner right here I did some journaling if that's what you call it um, and so that camera never wants me to be great anyway as I was saying I wrote this renewing your mind is the key to experiencing new life in Christ and I'm really praying that this four-day journey that I'll be on will help me renew my mind in Christ because I've been feeling so ungodly and like I don't know. I've been feeling this way for a while. You guys are like, yeah, girl, I could see it. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's really important to surround yourself with people who are just going to tell you like it is and be like, girl, what's wrong with you? But it, it's not that it's not anything I'm doing, really, because honestly, I'm just I'm being myself. <laughs> But it's just the way I've been feeling. I've been feeling so disconnected from God for a while. It's partially because 
I record the sermons at church and I can't connect because there's literally a camera in between me and the sermon. Um, but like, I don't know, I just, I feel so spiritually weak. God has still been very active in my life, of course, because he's God and he never fails us. But I myself, as a Christian, I just feel so lukewarm. Like, I'm not doing enough. Like, I just read the scripture to you guys and that's it. Like, what am I doing for the community? What am I doing for the young people? What am I doing for married couples? I feel so weak. And I just I just need some strength. That's all. It's broke out. Yeah? I'm going to sit. You're going to sit? No, I'm going to sit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely just said that he was going to step, but he jumped. Okay, I'm going to sit. Yeah! It's a lot cooler outside than it is inside. Oh! So Jonathan and I took a trip to the grocery driving. store. You're driving? Yeah. Yeah. We took a trip to the grocery store. Like, we didn't really need to come, but it's hot in the house. And I just wanted to escape. We went outside for a little bit, as you saw before, but it wasn't good enough. So we decided to come to the grocery store. This kid doesn't want to sleep, and my computer is not working, so I can use a little break. I'm back home now and I want to get started on dinner because you know like I can no. if I were to start dinner at 6 I would probably die I have an hour and 20 minutes before I can eat but I feel like it's gonna be the slowest hour and a half ever so I'm gonna try to get things ready to go by 6 I already told Rudy like usually we try to wait for each other we eat together all the time we've been doing that for the past eight years you know um, of course there have been exceptions, but I've never purposely eaten food <laughs> before he came home for no reason. But yeah. this is a good enough reason. You girl is hungry. Alright guys, so dinner is going really well. I'm really proud of myself. And um, this is what it is. Chicken lettuce wraps with hoisin mayo and spiced, spicy pickled carrots. Wait a minute. I'm not making these joints spicy, am I? But um, I'm very, very excited to eat these joints. Rudy texted me and said he might be home late because there's like a torrential downpour <laughs> or something. Um, I feel badly. Like I, like I said, we always eat together. I feel like I'm being a greedy weedy. Honestly, I'm kind of past the point of hunger. It's been six hours since I last ate. So like, I feel like I could wait maybe a half hour for him. Baby, I will wait. For you, if you think it's in a town, ten to. Anybody know that song? I wonder what happened to Elliot Yamin. What happened? What, what he up to? Anyway, um, I'm trying to finish this chicken, which looks bomb. Chicken with soy sauce, bomb. And look at this rice that we got over here. We got some pickled carrots and some cucumbers in sushi rice. Like, are you kidding me? Um, so when this is done, then it's done. Like, it, oh, why don't it finish? So I'm really excited about this meal. Also, I forgot to do my afternoon devotion, I realized. I'm gonna go upstairs, hopefully the boys will not try to kill each other. I'm gonna go upstairs and read my little devotion for a little bit. And then, um, you know, I wanna do that before breaking my fast. I might also have a bottle of water just so I can wait for Rudy a little bit longer. Hello everybody. I am back from work. It is late. Wearing dinner. Dinner was great. You want, you want me to say great? It's better than great. It was amazing. I'm still eating it right now and I'm supposed to. Well I am, it's mine. That thing was so good. I, oh, here's a picture of what, what it looks like. And those, so basically she made some rice, awesome. She put some vegetables in it, awesome. She made some chicken to go with it, awesome. She made some sauce, sauce. That sauce, like if you guys have realized, I don't know if you guys realize this, but um, sauces go with a lot of stuff I eat. <clears throat> Ketchup with my fries and whatever, I, I scoop, I dip. Um, sauces from different stores, whatever, on chicken, but this sauce, I don't even know what it's called. 
went so well I drizzled it on top of the rice and vegetables that was put on top of a, a, like a, a leafy green it wasn't a lettuce but it was it was something very good and I just ate it like ugh. that was good I think it was super good I can't tell you how good it is <laughs> I think I think Larian like three four times it was very good now I'm full I'm looking for some juice and I'm gonna get back to some work I'm trying to fix something for Larian and these computer things I feel like I'm not having good luck <laughs> I feel like so many things in the house have been like breaking down computer wise and it's just like uh I feel like I'm not having to break but I will fix it I have a the bucket of toys for you play it we are here to play You need help with the next page? You got it. This one. You read that one already. I got this one. Yeah, go to the next page. I There's already color inside the book. You don't color in this one. God is our refuge and strength. Is it running? Yeah, of course it's running. <laughs> 